and welcome to the Crystal Palace National Sports Centre for the 15th World Invitation Club Basketball Championships. Today it's the turn of the final in the ladies event, a match between two top sides. Minsk are the defending WICB champions. They defeated Prague in their semi-final to set up this crunch match with the University of Tennessee, the American college champions, who defeated Solna from Sweden. Well, I can see that the players have almost finished their warm-up now, so it's time to hand over to Alton Bird at courtside. But first, a quick check at the starting lineup. Horizon Minsk in blue, the defending ladies' champions in the WICB, line up four, Oksana Koryalova, six, Elena Parashchenko, seven, Ina Smirnova, eight, Svetlana Dineko, nine, Ekaterina Ruban, ten, Elena Lamarko, eleven, Elena Shvaibovic, twelve, Irina Sumnikova, thirteen, Lilia Malaya, and fourteen, Diana Sotikova. Minsk starting five, four, Koryalova, five, Parashchenko, 11 Shvaibovic, 12 Sumnikova and 13 Malaya. Horizon Minsk in blue facing University of Tennessee in orange. Their starting team 3 Jody Adams, 5 Regina Clark, 10 Tiffany Woosley, 11 Dina Head, 15 Marlene Jita, 20 Peggy Evans, 21 Lisa Harrison, 23 Nikki McRae, 24 Vonda Ward, 33 Nikki Caldwell, 34 Kelly Castile, 42, Roshoni Dillegard, 52, Debbie Horhe, and 53, Dana Johnson. Tennessee's starting five, Adams, Evans, Harrison, Ward, and Cordwell. Tennessee, the NCAA champions playing in orange. Let's get on with the action and join our courtside commentator, Alton Bird. Welcome to the final of the women's tournament in the Russell Athletic WICB between Horizon Minsk and the University of Tennessee. And there's the first foul lay on number three, Jody Adams, captain of the University of Tennessee. And for those of you that don't know and have the opportunity of watching this game, the University of Tennessee, certainly one of the finest teams in America, if not the finest team in America at the moment uh, as a collegiate group. Um, getting an opportunity to see last year's NC2A collegiate champions. And certainly at this point in time, ranked number four in the United States, yeah, and some very good collegiate teams. So Horizon Minsk, without saying the holders of this tournament, an excellent European team, one of the top women's teams in, in Europe, certainly in the Soviet Union. They are a jump ball between number 20, Peggy Evans, and the Horizon Minsk uh, player, their number five referees uh, today, are Trevor Pounton and, and Gordon Cole, both English. And Horizon Men's with the ball at number four, Korolova. And certainly one thing the University of Tennessee will not be used to, and that is without question the shooting ability of Horizon Minsk. One of the best shooting teams, as most Eastern Bloc, or former Eastern Bloc, I should say, countries are. And there's a great pass inside from Jody Adams down to number 24, Vonda Ward, who misses the layup, biggest fouled. The foul lay on number five, Parashenko. On the ward, a high school All-American before she arrived at the University of Tennessee. University of Tennessee's Best star is actually on the sideline. Head coach Pat Summit, the Olympic silver medalist as a player, Olympic gold medal coach in 1984, and coach at the University of Tennessee for the past 17 seasons. She's 442 and 118. She's lost only 118 games in 17 seasons. A great record. There's a three-pointer there from number 11, Shvavovic. There's a jump ball there from number 12, Sumnikova. And number, t number 20, Peggy Evans. And Evans there wins the tap. Number 21, Lisa Harrison with the ball. Over to Ward, great pass inside, Evans. Draws the foul there on number four, Coriolova. 
and Evans will shoot too. Horizon Minsk like their colleagues from CSKR having a bit of trouble getting to the WICB this year but the holders are here beating USK Prague in the semifinals and will be a very tough competitor for the University of Tennessee. A little bit more used to European basketball and its tempo. Evans makes the first and misses the second, but there's a lane violation there, so she will shoot another shot. University of Tennessee call themselves the greatest show in women's basketball. And they line up there in a zone press. And presses do tend to disturb European teams with quickness. But Minsk. And there's an offensive foul there drawn by Von der Ward on number five, Parashenko. And presses certainly do bother Russian, Yugoslavian, Eastern Bloc countries who have a problem with quickness. And the University of Tennessee has plenty of quickness. And I'm sure they will be pressing most of the game. Oh, great pass. Great pass there from Lisa Harrison to Von der Ward for an easy basket. And the Americans stopped there because they thought it was out of bounds, but number four, Koryalova, makes them pay. There's a foul there on number 13, Lilia Malaya. But certainly the University of Tennessee will not be used to the shooting range and capacity of Horizon Men's. They won't face this kind of outside shooting in the collegiate season. Obviously with the wider lane and the three-point range a bit further than college basketball, it will be somewhat difficult for the University of Tennessee to make that, that adaptability. But there Jody Adams answers with an outside shot of her own. Horizon Mintz breaks the press again. Uh, Two quick fouls there on number three, Jody Adams. And Jody Adams. Two fouls. She will have a seat, and number 10, Tiffany Woosley, will come in as a backup point guard. There's a four shot there from number four, Koryalova. Number 12, Sumnikova in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Oh, great pass from Sumnikova to number five, Tarashenko. And that's good penetration and dishing by Horizon Minsk. 21, Lisa Harrison breaks the press. Inside to Von der Ward. Good turnaround, good box out offensively there by Peggy Evans. Misses the easy shot. There's number 33. With an errant pass. And neither of these teams able to pick the ball up. Number 11. It's five a bitch. Again, good penetration and kick. Good pass, good give and go. And Coriolova misses the easy shot after a good offensive series. 33, Nikki Caldwell over number 10, Tiffany Woosley. Great pass there from Harrison down to Evans. And there's Poor boxing out from the University of Tennessee. And there's a foul. Number 21, Lisa Harrison. Having a little bit of trouble containing number 12, 
Irina Sumnikova. Sumnikova, a player that plays for the former Soviet national team. Sumnikova will shoot two shots. Sumnikova misses the first. Makes a second. And there's a foul there on Sumnikova. Her first foul. Tiffany and Woosley with the ball. Good hands there. Malaya knocks the ball out of bounds. Tennessee will take it out. Good pressure defense by Minsk. Number 52 in the game, Debbie Hawhey. And there's a foul there on Parashenko. Number five, Elena Pavchenko, and third foul. Good shot there from Debbie Hawhey. Her first two points of the game. And it looks like a travel there, but uh, they got away with it. Stay with us for continuation of this match. Welcome back to the women's final of the WICB in London. University of Tennessee winning 41-31 now, 41-34. Number 11, Sumnikova with a tough three-pointer. Peggy Evans there called for traveling. University of Tennessee just over five minutes remaining in this first half. University of Tennessee certainly on a roll here, up 10 points uh, when we came back. But Sumnikova bringing the deficit down to seven. There's Sumnikova with another three-point effort. Great tip in, tip back there. One of her teammates. And there's a foul there on number 15 and a tough shot from Sumnikova again, a running one-hand shot. Foul there on number 15, Marlene Jeter. Sumnikova will shoot another shot. As you can hear my colleague, 16 points for Sumnikova. Not so great at the foul line is Sumnikova, but puts the ball in the basket. And there the Horizon men's girls get uh, a double team on number 10, Tiffany Woosley. And a jump ball and called by the two referees. Number 11, Svavovich. And number 10, Tiffany Woosley. Although Marlene, Marlene Jeter is uh, trying as best she can to persuade the referees and has done so that it was her involved in the jump and gets the tip number 33 Nikki Caldwell in for a tough turnaround shot there from 34 Kelly Castile and Minsk with the ball good head and shoulders fake great hands there by Marlene Jeter for Steele and Tennessee in the transition Tough shot there from number 33, Nikki Caldwell. But misses the layup, and she'll shoot two. Foul that called by Gordon Cole. And Nikki Caldwell will shoot two shots. Nikki Caldwell 
Five foot eleven or one meter eighty three. This is the first of our two foul shots. And we'll shoot the second. And makes the second. Long pass there from Minsk. Good head and shoulders fake. Good rebounding by Minsk. Poor box out by Marlene Jeter. And Minsk gets another basket. Tiffany Woosley. It's a ball up for the University of Tennessee. There's a foul there. Or I should say a travel first before the foul. And number 11. Svavabich draws a foul there on number 10, Tiffany Woosley. And... Tennessee in the penalty with over seven team fouls. After seven team fouls, you automatically shoot one and one. And Elena Svivovich will shoot one and one. And I will say that Horizon Minsk are not the best foul shooting team we've seen so far. A bit of volleyball there from Tennessee and Horizon Minsk. Number 33, Nikki Caldwell shoots a three-pointer and misses. And Minsk come up with the ball again. And if that's not a travel, I'd be very surprised. Even in Russia, that's a travel. Some Nikova called for a travel. The University of Tennessee who brought over a, a hundred fans with them from the United States. With plenty of support here. Poor pass there from number 20. Gets back on defense though, which is a good defensive play. Almost another turnover. Jeter with a left hand shot, misses. And this is racehorse basketball. Good pass. Nice shot there from Svivovich. And number 15, Marlene Jeter, has a go at Svivovich for, for uh, smacking her in the face. And that's usually not things you see in women's basketball, but... An interesting call there, Trevor Pounton on the back end of that, uh, that call. Marlene Jeter having a go at number 11, Elena Svivovich. And called for an intentional foul. Zvivovich will shoot two shots and get possession of the ball for Horizon Minsk. And Horizon Minsk takes a timeout to regroup. 42 to 38. The University of Tennessee over Horizon Minsk. And Elena Zvivovich will shoot two. Zvivovich a player who also plays for the Soviet national team. And Horizon Miss, miss misses yet another foul shot. And that's certainly the fifth foul shot we've seen them miss in this half. One wonders what the score would be if they'd made their foul shots. So I have a bitch with a good spin dribble. Good box out there from number 23, Nikki McCray. McCray to Caldwell and to Castile. Good turnaround shot there from Nikki Castile. Kelly Castile, I should say. And there's that woman again. Sumnikova who takes a shot, misses, gets her own rebound over to Svivovich, who misses. And referee Gordon Cole calls out of bounds off of a Tennessee player. Svivovich from long distance. Another miss. Caldwell to Woosley. Three seconds. On Peggy Evans. Peggy Evans. 
And Minsk will take the ball out on the sideline. And the arena Sumnikova, 17 points so far. And there's a foul there on Tiffany Woosley. And it looks like referee Trevor Pounton gives the basket. And Sumnikova will shoot one. And they miss yet another foul shot. But get their own rebound. And one wonders where Horizon Minsk would be if they made their foul shots. Good double screen there for Minsk. And I guess when you miss your foul shots and make your three pointers, somewhere in that equation, that mathematical equation, it all balances. Horizon Minsk now down one point after being down by 10, 41 31. They're now down one point. Good pass there. And number 33, Nikki Caldwell finishes after a good pass from Peggy Evans. Nikki Caldwell with 10 points. So Nikova misses an easy jump shot. And Tennessee. And that was a double dribble. Although Tiffany Woosley did her best to not to get called for it. She tried to hide it as best she could. Spotted by Gordon Cole. And Horizon Minsk with the ball. She assume Nikova. And there's an offensive foul. Good call there by referee Gordon Cole. Sumnikova pushing off with her right arm. And it'll be Tennessee ball. So Tennessee with the chance to build on this three-point lead to the 46-43 to the University of Tennessee. And they go into the patented four corners offense, saving the ball for the last shot of the half. Tiffany Woosley with the ball in the center of the four corners. There's Caldwell who misses the open shot. And there's a foul there on number 53, Dana Johnson over the back. And Horizon Minsk will shoot one and one. One interesting factor of this Tennessee team, we've yet to see Dina Head, who has started for the last three seasons for the University of Tennessee, the top scorer last year with 13 points a game, averaged six rebounds and four assists. We've hardly seen her. And Enos Smanova makes the first of a one and one as we come to the end of this first half. And makes the second. 46-45 with five seconds to go. And Tennessee with the last shot misses the end of the first half. 46 to 45 to the University of Tennessee. We'll be back. Welcome back to the second half of the women's final. 46 to 45 to the University of Tennessee. One of America's top teams in the collegiate ranks. And uh, first foul there called on number 13. Lilia Malaya, University of Tennessee, presently ranked fourth in the United States in collegiate basketball and last year's NC2A champions. 
An unbelievable record over the past 17 seasons, 442 and 118. One of the best basketball teams and certainly one of the best women's programs in the world. Number 11, Elena Svivovich to the basket. Good penetration, good kick. And misses and there's Nikki Caldwell for the rebound. Nikki Caldwell, one of the best players in the nation. Good pass, good feet underneath. Misses. Evan, Peggy Evans misses. Tennessee with three shots at the basket. Make that four. And the University of Tennessee misses all four shots. That may very well come back to haunt them towards the end of the game. Four easy shots at the basket. Misses. And Horizon Minsk with the ball. Number 11, Svivovich outside. Another miss, and there's Evans who atones for her miss with uh, a rebound. But Svivovich with a key steal there. Good control. And the Tennessee fans calling for a travel. But number 13, Malaya makes him pay. 48 46. Minsk ahead for the first time in the ball game. Good hands there from Sumnikova. Svivovich makes the easy layup. 50 to 46. And Minsk on a bit of a roll here. Minsk who have played in the last three finals and have never finished outside of the top three in their last five appearances. Fighting to keep hold of the trophy. Peggy Evans will shoot two shots. Peggy Evans at 1 meter 85. A starter for the University of Tennessee last year. In the unusual way she shoots her foul shots. Misses. You'll notice that the ball doesn't rest on her hand. It actually rests on her fingertips. Right on her fingertips as though she was shot putting. She makes the second. 50 to 47. They assume Nikova in a one-on-one. -on -one. Great pass from Sumnikova to number six. Smirnova. And the University of Tennessee having real problems trying to contain Sumnikova, who if not scoring, she's creating opportunities for her teammates. There's Evans around the basket again and makes that shot. Good offensive rebound from Peggy Evans. 52-49, the University of Tennessee hanging in there in this second half. There's Fiverbitch out to Sumnikova for a three-pointer. Misses and Tiffany Woosley, not Tiffany Woosley, Jody Adams back in the game. Great pass. Oh, and great block. Number six. Smirnova knocks it away. And the game getting a little bit physical. Svavovich looking at Gordon Cole. Saying, where's the foul on that one? The University of Tennessee getting back on defense well that time. And Jody Adams. Caldwell to Evans to the basket. Good ball movement from the University of Tennessee. 52-51. And there's Sumnikova. Tough shot. Running one-hander off foot. Wrong-footed the shot. Waited till Nikki Caldwell went by her. And there's Evans again. 
from number four, Coriel Yoga. Sumnikova throws the ball away again. And the University of Tennessee will get the ball. And the University of Tennessee with Jody Adams, captain of the University of Tennessee this year. Over to Caldwell. There's number 21. Great pass there from Caldwell to Peggy Evans. And Nikki Caldwell showing her passing skills. Poor defensive rebounding from Tennessee. Number four, Cordova makes them pay. 56-53. There's Evans again, and a three-second call. Surprising call from Trevor Pounce in there. But a three-second call nonetheless. And Minsk trying to take advantage of Tennessee's lackadaisical attempt to get back on defense. Five a bitch for three-pointer. 59-53. Favabich took that shot as though uh, little Jody Adams wasn't even in the frame. 59, There's number 21, Lisa Harrison to Evans. And Jody Adams make a, makes a 15-foot shot, 59-55. And here's Simnikova. Good hands there. Good hands from Caldwell. And Sumnikova hoping to get a call. Ah, but she's all right now. <laughs> Good pass from Sumnikova. And Smenova finishes the play, but Irina Sumnikova playing a bit of possum there on the University of Tennessee. Here's Adams. Good pass to Evans. Evans misses. Harrison with the turnaround. She misses. And there's Fiverbitch. Great pass there from Karlova who misses the layup. And there's Jody Adams. And this game is starting to hot up a bit. Both teams starting to get up and down the floor. Good penetration. Both teams playing good defense. There's Adams from three-point range. Adams nails it three. 61-58. Good pass there. But number six, Smirnova, misses the layup and then compounds the issue by fouling. 61-58. And Woosley comes in. Jody Adams still in the game. Number 24, Vonda Ward back in the game. 53, Dana Johnson. And Lisa Harrison also in the game. Dana Johnson, tough shot. Floats under the basket and gets two. 61-60, there's Sumnikova from three-point range, misses, and there's a foul on Sumnikova on a reach-in. Found the ward. Sumnikova so goes out, takes a well-deserved rest. 20 points for her. Woosley with good penetration, misses. 
Dana Johnson almost tips it in. And number eight, Elena Mishina. Makes Tennessee pay for not getting back on defense. And that really was the fault of Adams and Woosley. Dana Johnson misses the layup. And we're off to the races again. And Minsk catching Tennessee in the transition game. There's a foul there on number 21, Lisa Harrison. Svivovich will take the ball out on the sideline. There's a good pass there. Minsk misses the easy shot. Stay with us. We'll be back just after the break with the final quarter of this. Welcome back to the final five and a half minutes of this WICB women's final here in London, sponsored by Russell Athletic. 72-71, Horizon Minsk over the University of Tennessee. And the shot there, Tiffany Woosley misses the shot. Foul there by Irina, I should say Elena Svivovich, and Woosley will shoot two. Tiffany Woosley, an opportunity to tie the game here. Makes the first. 72-72 to the University of Tennessee. Woosley misses the second. So the game remains tied. 72 all. Svavovich. Good head and shoulders fake, good penetration, and look who she finds. Sumnikova, poor rebounding, great block there by Vonda Ward. Vonda Ward saving the day there for the University of Tennessee. There's Fiverbitch, foul there by Nikki Caldwell. And the University of Tennessee having some defensive rebounding problems, which is allowing Minsk to gather their own rebounds and get second shots at the basket. Too many of those, and with anybody, you end up losing the game. Svavovich makes the first. 73 72. Elena Zvavovich, 1 meter 78, point guard. Zvavovich makes both. And the University of Tennessee down two points. The reigning national champions from America versus Minsk, one of their best teams in Europe, and the holders of the tournament. Great pass there from Caldwell, and good ball movement. Vonda Ward finishing the play. And the University of Tennessee ties the game. There's number eight. Elena Machina, 76-74, four minutes, 10 seconds left. University of Tennessee hanging on to win the women's tournament in the WICB. Caldwell from three-point range. Misses. And a good box out there from number 12, Sumnikova. And Kelly Castile called for over the back. And and Sumnikova, who's had a, a great game for Mintz so far. And I'm sure we'll have some say in the final outcome of this game. Good pass there from Sumnikova. And there's Sumnikova from three-point range. Misses. 
Good hands, good persistence there by Woosley, but couldn't hunt. Thunder Ward couldn't hang on to the ball. Jump ball. Jump ball between Vonda Ward and number six, Smirnova. Harrison finds the right woman in Woolsley. Woolsley with tough shot. Good control by Tiffany Woolsley to make the shot to tie the game at 76. Sumnikova. With a pass that's too long. Turnover there by Minsk. And the University of Tennessee takes the ball over. Evans, tough shot. 78-76, under three minutes to go here. Here's Sumnikova, who answers quickly. 78 all. As you can hear my colleague, 22 points for Sumnikova. Good pass there from Caldwell. Evans gathers him herself, misses. And Minsk giving the ball back. And as you can see, whoever told you that women's basketball wasn't physical was obviously watching a different game. Horizon Minsk with the ball. Minsk spreading the floor offensively to allow Sumnikova to do exactly what she does best. And Tennessee unable to get the rebound. And it'll go back to Minsk. It's Vivovic with the ball. Between Vivovic, great pass there. Great finish. Vivovic finding the open player, number 13. Malaya finishes the play with an easy layup. And it's crunch time for Tennessee. They need a basket badly. There's Lisa Harrison. Good hands there by number 13, Malaya, to tip the ball out of bounds. And head coach Pat Summit, the Olympic gold medal coach of 1984, calls a timeout for the University of Tennessee. One minute, 37 seconds left in the game. And the University of Tennessee with the ball. Tiffany Woosley. Caldwell to Woosley, to Harrison, and Gordon Cole there. Giving the ball back to the University of Tennessee. Minsk saying that it went off of Harrison's hands. Here's Evans. Tough shot misses. There's Vonda Ward with a big offensive rebound and finish. 80 points all. One minute just over. A minute left. One minute and eight left. Svivovich with the ball in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Caldwell. And gets away with a travel. Oh, a tough shot there from Minsk. Makes the layup. 82-80 to Minsk. University of Tennessee with the ball. And an opportunity to tie. Vonda Ward. Misses the shot. And Minsk with the rebound. Here's Sumnikova. Foul there by Peggy Evans. No shot. Gordon Cole calling the foul before the actual play was finished. And the University of Tennessee needs the ball back to tie the game. Luckily, good foul there by Peggy Evans. There's no one and one, so Minsk will take the ball out on the sideline. Two-point lead to Minsk, Sumnikova, to Svivovich. Svivovich back to Sumnikova. 
Good defense there by Woolsley. Good hands. Zvavovic from three-point range. Misses. Peggy Evans with the rebound. And a foul there by Sumnikova. Peggy Evans with an opportunity here to tie the ball game. And Minsk takes a timeout with 11 seconds to go. 82 to 80. Horizon Minsk over the University of Tennessee. Peggy Evans with a chance here to tie the game. One and one, 11 seconds left. Evans makes the first. University of Tennessee with a strong group of fans here. Evans, chance to tie the game, 82-81. Evans, big time basket there. And here's Sumnikova. Sumnikova to the basket with a big shot. Sumnikova, four seconds left. The University of Tennessee manages to call a timeout with four seconds left. 84-82. Here's Tennessee. No foul called. Oh, a foul is called. Sumnikova called for the foul at half court. The University of Tennessee with an opportunity to tie the game and send it into overtime. Tiffany Woolsley. One and one. Woolsley has an opportunity here to tie the game at 84. Shoots one and one. Woolsley misses the first half of the one and one. One second remaining. One second remaining. The University of Tennessee with a second chance. Timeout called by Minsk coach Halipski. Tennessee with the ball, one second left. Woolsley from three, this is. And Horizon Minsk retains the championship they won last season. Thank you for following WICB basketball.